On this video, I'm going to go ahead and go over some awesome, amazing third-party apps to definitely check out and download for your Apple Watch. So if you just recently got your hands on a new Apple Watch or just want to learn what's available, what's out there in the crowded, cluttered app store, don't worry, I got you covered. As these are my day-to-day -day Apple Watches apps that I use on a daily basis. Let's get started. Uh, now, first things first, I feel like it's necessary to, even though I already covered these watch faces complications that I use, but since they are a third party, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick rundown how I use the complications that I have right now on my watch face. So this is the infograph, and this is my favorite watch face due to the fact that it holds a bunch of complications, and it keeps it all organized and so that it still looks like a traditional watch, I guess, with a circular watch face. So right here in the top right hand corner, I have the time because it's easier for me to tell time this way instead of using the hand since there's no numbers on top as you see due to the fact of my layout. So I have that there. On the bottom right here, I have the activity, nothing special here. Right here next to that one is steps. Steps is free to download and basically just gives you more detail of your steps goal and such as you see, as you see right here. It actually keeps track of your steps throughout your entire day. And you can actually go into the application and change the goal from here as well. So my daily step goal is 10,000 or more. Then on top of here, this is a heart rate tracking app. It's also free to download. And what I like about this one is that I use it a lot, especially when I'm working out. Because I'm able to actually check in on my last time, the last time I Apple Watch monitor my heart rate. And if I notice the numbers are getting low and I'm working out, I know to eliminate that break and get back to it before I start cooling down. So that's how I use, utilize this primarily at the gym. Now, if you want a cool weather application that actually has some funny complication functions, check out Carrot. Carrot not only gives you all the important data you, there is to know about the weather forecast and such, but on top here, sometimes it will actually do some funny insults to you directly or just say some funny sentences like you're seeing right here on your screen. That's why I like this app, just for the humor. Next to the here is obviously the calendar. It's just a calendar. Next to this one's my quick access to my workouts. And then down here is Shazam. I just like activating it and tapping on it and identifying songs. And it sends my uh, the Discover songs to my iPhone, which I could decide if I want to add it to my personal playlist or not. So that's how I use Shazam and utilize these all these other complications that I have right here on my watch face. Now the next app that I like to cover is for my non series 7 apple watch owners so if you have an older apple watch uh, like the series 4 the apple watch se this application basically gives you a keyboard so you can actually reply to iMessage and such the app is called flip type and it returned back to the app store and just like that you have quick access to a keyboard you can, it basically just gives you a keyboard functionality so if it's a long reply to a message that you're replying to and it's much quicker just to have access to a keyboard on your wrist than it is to gain access to your phone. This is an awesome substitute and it's a lot better than dictation sometimes. Now a cool combination with FlickType and this next app I'm going to go ahead and show you. This app is called Notes for Apple Watch and it's exactly that. When you launch the app right here on your Apple Watch wrist, you can actually create a new note right here and notice how you have the option to use dictation, scribbles, emojis, I don't know how that's going to be a note. And uh, if you have the Series 7 like we do right here, you have access to the keyboard. But down here, you see that it suggests flick type. And uh, you get to actually utilize this uh, keyboard app on this Apple Watch to actually take notes. And then it'll synchronize between the notes, not the native note app on your iPhone, but the note app that it has integrated on your device right here. And you can just create a bunch of notes perfect if you're in class. Or it's just, again, you just don't want to use your iPhone and the Apple Watch is your only option. This is how you can actually take some quick notes. Now, in terms of taking verbal notes, if you're in a class or something like that, listening to a lecture, uh, you can always just use the native voice memo app. It synchronizes automatically across your Apple devices if you have it enabled with iCloud, but by default, it will synchronize to your iPhone. But a good substitute to this that's really user-friendly and straightforward is called Just Record. This could be used as a watch OS complication as well for your watch face. But when you launch this app, you literally just press record and it begins recording just like so. And when you're done recording, just end it like that. 
go to the next page and it'll save up a couple of previously recorded clips so you can actually play back and listen to them right at, right here on your wrist and you can use the digital crown to select some previous ones you made already have created and then once you're done with creating how many audio logs you want to create tap the little dot icon up here and you can send it to your iPhone or delete it. And so yeah, the advantage of this app is just has a much cleaner layout instead of being cluttered with a bunch of other random stuff like the voice memo app does. Now a quick shout out, if you have a Samsung Smart TV, check out this app. This app basically will allow you to control your television, your Samsung television with your Apple Watch. Roku also has this, but if you have Apple TV plugged into your TV, you can always use the Apple TV remote integrated on the Apple Watch OS. But yeah, just launch the remote app, select the Apple TV, and control your television on your wrist. Move it along. Hey, do you play any sports that involves you swinging your arm and you want to capture that data and know how fast your arm swings? Fear no more, as uh, Arm Speed is the name of this next next app. It's free to download. It's actually really cool because it gathers a bunch of data that just can be very useful or pointless to the person. Uh, it basically, look, look, when you launch the app, you can actually make it so that it utilizes the internal sensors that these gyroscope and g4 sensors and stuff like that these latest generation apple watches have so as soon as you swing something really hard for like baseball golf football whatever or you just want to see how fast you're swinging something this app basically will keep track of the highest rate of speed that your hand accelerated so this app is really useful for that reason it gathers a bunch of information and once you're done you can stop recording save recording stop it and then view your history right here so perfect for golf or just anything really that you just want to know how fast you can swing things now if you have a skateboard a one wheel a bicycle or you're just, you just want to track the speed and the rate that you're traveling. And the app that allows you to accomplish this is called Speedometer. And basically that's what all it does. It just tracks your speed. Awesome if you're like a cyclist, but that's really all there is to it. It just utilizes the internal sensors that it has like the GPS, accelerometer, and etc. The next app I'm going to go ahead and show you is called Business Card Reader. Whenever you have a business card or something like that, you just want to save. Instead of storing it in your wallet or in your pocket somewhere, you can always just launch this app on your native device, scan it, and then it will import all that information right here on your wrist. So if you're if there's a number or somebody you want to get a hold of in the near future, but instead of holding on to their card, this is a great app that allows you to actually like have all that stored on your phone without having to take a picture of it and scroll to your photo library. This is just keeps everything all nicely organized. And there we go. Those are the lists of some third party apps to definitely check out, especially if you're new to the whole Apple Watch world. For quick access to where you can find these links, they'll be all linked in the video description down below. So they are literally a click away so you can easily download them. And if you're curious on what type of Apple Watch band I'm using on my main Apple Watch right now, I'll have that linked in the description as well but I also recently went ahead and covered it in its own separate video that you can go ahead and watch right over here in the accessory video that I made recently and then that video over there that's just a video YouTube is recommending specifically for you thanks so much for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this see you guys on the next one see ya